Brett Friedman here, owner and creator of Vanity Mark Cosmetics, and I'm going to give you all the formulation highlights for my Ultra Brow Brow Pencil. So let's talk a little bit about eyebrows, in particular eyebrow pencils. So when I was creating the Ultra Brow Pencil, what I wanted was something mechanical, and let me tell you why. Mechanical pencils, you know, they, they twist up um, and you don't have to sharpen them. So what a woman will do is, you know, sort of do it one side, one the other, and they can sort of work it every time they use it to keep it in a point. And why I did that was, one, one less thing to carry around. I know on my kit, <laughs> I don't have, you know, I don't want to necessarily, you know, throw a bunch of different pencil sharpener sizes for all the fat pencils and thin pencils. But another big thing is the formulation. I really wanted what I call a pencil to powder finish. I wanted something that was matte. Because, you know, when you're doing something with, in the brows, you're trying to mimic nature and you don't want anything that's going to look greasy or shiny or call attention to the brows, the fill in behind the hairs. The hairs can be shiny, the hairs can do whatever, because that's part of the architecture of the face. But you want your fill in to be matte. That's why I've made this pencil to powder formula, did it in the mechanical. So, you know, and also it was really important to me, the, bra the uh, pencil retracts up and down. So you can, you know, twist it up and bring it back down. A lot of pencils just go up and then if you over uh, twist, <laughs> you're stuck. But with mine, I was like, I don't want that whole business of, you know, breaking off lead or wasting a pencil in any way. Um, you know, another thing about a pencil to powder finish is the long wear. You want something that's going to stay on the skin, especially in such a hostile area around the you know, the eyes and then also, you know, the forehead, you dealing with the uh, glow, not sweat. And, you know, you want something that's going to stay. So that was some that was really important with me with the Ultra Brow Pencil. Now, another great thing is the wide range of colors that the Ultra Brow, you know, Ultra Brow Pencil has. So, for example, there are two blondes. There's a blondest, so say you're Christina Aguilera with you know, platinum blonde hair, or a silver fox, a woman with, you know, silver hair, and you really, really need a fair, fair pencil, that's your blondest. And then there's the standard blondie, which would be for the Jennifer Aniston's of the world, or a highlighted blonde, someone, it's more of a taupey, it's more your standard. So, you know, same with the reds. There's Auburnista, which is, you know, sort of like the darker red, the really vivid red, say for Marsha Cross from Desperate Housewives. And then there's, you know, the more gingery red for like Marg Helgenberger, someone that has strawberry blonde or something a little more subtle. And that, the gingerella is really great because it really fills a niche. I know for a lot of redheads that I do, I would have to use a lip pencil a lot of times, like a coppery pale lip pencil. So when I was formulating it, the colors were super, super important. And, you know, the pricing at $16 is great. It's like MAC pricing. It's not L'Oreal, which is like eight or nine, but it's not NARS or Chanel, which is 22 to 24. So I feel like, you know, Vanity Mark has an aspirational look. It looks very high end and it is a high end product, but the pricing is, like I said, like MAC, it's right in the middle. So it, it kind of works on everyone's, you know, budget level and, that's the big thing. You're going to present these women with solutions to defining their brows. And, you know, here's my little tip too. When you're showing someone the Ultra Brow Pencils, you want to do the fill-in a shade lighter than the hairs. You want a shadow of definition. You don't want something that's so dark that's going to compete with the hairs. So it looks like just one big solid fill-in. So anyway, good luck selling them. I've worked really hard on the Ultra Brow Pencil and I have a feeling your customers are going to love it. So enjoy pretty.